All right, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to the video. So, currently my UMAP tutorial isn't working, so we're back with another one. Um, but with this one, it's gonna be a little bit longer because I'm gonna show two different methods of it. So hopefully, if Fortnite gets an update, one of these two methods is gonna work. So first thing you can do is download all three of these from the description, and then you're gonna open up Blender. So now that we have Blender open, you wanna go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then Install. And here you're gonna find this Blender UMAP file that you downloaded, and you're gonna press Install Add-on. And then right here, you want to enable this, then you can close out of your add-ons area. All right, once you've installed the add-on, you wanna press N on your keyboard, and then you're just gonna to wanna to copy all of these settings. So first thing you wanna do is in your game area, you wanna to go to your packs folder, so click right here, and then you just wanna to navigate to your packs folder. For most people, that is gonna be on the C drive, and then program files, and then Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, content, and packs. This might be different for you, but most likely that's where it is. So then for the main AES key, you want to join my Discord server, which is going to be linked in the description. And then you want to find the main AES key. So you can see these two right here are skin specific, but this one is an actual main AES key. So you want to copy that, then go back into Blender and paste it right here. Then in the export area, you want to create a folder where you want to export your UMAPs. So here I already have a folder and for this. It's in my porting folder and then inside of UMAP and then UMAP exports. Then you just want to press accept wherever your folder is. Next, you want to click right here, press download mappings for Fortnite. All right, once you've done that, you want to click fill Fortnite AES keys. Then you want to click right here to enable use UE custom version. Then in here, you want to type in game underscore UE5 underscore latest, just like that. Now you need to find your UMAP. So this is where the two different methods come in. We have F model and U model. So most likely one of these is not gonna be working at the same time as the other because that's just how it is. All right, so here are our two apps. So the first one we're gonna do is F model. So we're just gonna open up this. And then from here, we're gonna wait for this to load. Once this is loaded, make sure this loading mode is set to all, then press load. Once it's done loading, you wanna click on packages, search, and then you wanna search dot UMAP, then press enter. And this is gonna come up with every single UMAP or POI. Some of these aren't even POIs, but this is gonna come up with every single UMAP in Fortnite. So from here, you can find pretty much any building in the game. Um, a lot of it takes some time. I can't really help with that. I'm sorry, I just can't. So for this example, I'll just take this log stack maze right here. So you wanna click on this and then right click, copy and package path without extension. Then you wanna head back into Blender and then you wanna paste it into this package path area. Then the final thing you wanna do is press import. All right, and here's what we imported. So I'm already seeing a few issues, but as you can see, everything is here. I'm not sure what this is meant to be, but yeah, it imported some sort of building. I'm not sure really what this is, but um, a few issues I see is this tree right here. Um, you are gonna to need to manually texture this just because uh, UMAP can't automatically texture stuff like this. Um, so besides that though, everything right here seems to be perfect. Now, what if you want to separate these objects? Because as you can see, they're all one thing. All you have to do is click on our mesh, press edit, press menu search, and then search make instances real right here. Then you wanna click right here. And now everything is separated and we can move it all how we want to, just like this. All right, now what if F model isn't working? Well, we have the U model right here. So we're gonna open up this and then we're gonna click on this folder right, and then we're gonna drag this folder wherever you want. I recommend putting it in your Fortnite packs folder because it just makes it easier. Then you wanna open up your folder, double click the U model 64, and then press override game detection, click Unreal Engine 4, and then click Unreal Engine 4.28. Then you wanna click on these three dots, and then you wanna to locate to your packs folder once again. All right, once you have this, you just wanna press OK. Then it's gonna ask you for an AES key. Do that exact same thing like we showed in F model and just import your AES key like that. Then give it a little bit to load. All right, and we basically wanna do that exact same thing as we did in F model. So press flat view and then search dot UMAP. And we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see more. We can also drag this line right here so you can see more text. And here we have all of our UMAPs. So let's find a UMAP to import. I'll just do this blimp destroyed one right here. So you wanna do copy package path, and then you are going to have to paste this into Blender and then delete this dot UMAP on the end so it'll work. 
then you just want to press import. Alright, and here is what we imported. This is a destroyed blimp, and this is ginormous, wow. Um, so you're probably noticing these white planes. Now how do you get rid of these? All you have to do is do that whole make instances real thing by going to edit, menu search, and then searching make instances real. Click right here. And now we can manually delete all of these planes right here. All you have to do is shift click all of them like this. It might take a couple of tries to get rid of all of them. Then I'm just gonna press X, press delete, and here we go. Look at this. It's the entire destroyed blimp. Uh, we even got our chest spawns right here. Um, and if you're wondering, these yellow things are randomized chest spawns. So there's a chance to, for a chest to spawn here in game. Um, so if you don't want those, which you probably don't, you can delete them as well. And yeah, here is our destroyed blimp. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.